my goodness welcome back to B adventures as you can tell we got another upgrade video long story short this has 8 gig of ram ddr3l l stands for low voltage meaning less electricity i've noticed some manufacturers like that because it saves electricity in laptops i don't think it's that big a deal much of a muchness but i've just noticed it's more common let's keep going what i'm going to do i already washed my hands right to keep them clean but to also remove any electricity so I'm giving you guys the ESD brief. It's called electrostatic discharge, ESD. What that means is the human body can hold electricity. So if you touch certain core components and you have too much static electricity, you know when you're a kid and you zap each other, you'd rub your hands on the carpet or your feet on the carpet and go zip. Well, you can actually damage the computer that way. Now, I'm, I know I'm being a bit paranoid. Some of you may not care, but hey, that's just me. So again, we want to remove any electricity. This is a laptop with the battery. As you can see, my wonderful Samsung SSD upgrade. One of these. Yeah, it's a high-speed hard drive. Now, this is basically a huge piece of RAM or huge memory card. And it's awesome. Now, basically, back to the whole RAM thing. Here's my RAM. Um, yeah, 8 gigabytes is fine. I've got 8 gig of DDR3L RAM. And in this day and age, it's now 2019, you really need 8 gig of RAM. But I checked the manufacturer website, uh, the old Sony Bio website. Now, you guys should do that too. Always check your manufacturer website. Um, and they did say it was really weird. Uh, 8 gigabytes, it's 4 gig on board. And I was like, what does 4 gig on board mean? It means 4 gigabytes is welded in underneath, welded or um, combined inside this motherboard. And then the other 4GB is this stick here. So after some searching, apparently, on the Crucial website, now you can't trust everything you read on the internet, but the Crucial website said it can be upgraded to 12GB total. So what that means is 4GB stuck on board, and then 8 gigabytes. I'm going to add now. Alright, so let's focus on this guy. Alrighty, now I just adjusted the camera, so hopefully this should be straightforward. Usually most RAM on laptops uses these rails, here, these things here, and you, you push them out and it'll flip up. So let's give that a try. Yeah. See, like that, it's spring-loaded. So I'll do that again one more time. This is the process. See, it's usually spring-loaded. I have seen some that are not, but very simple. You pull these tabs to the side, see, minimal pressure, and we're going to take that out. And that's also why we use gloves too. Even my old RAM, I can sell it or reuse it, repurpose it. Yeah, there we go. So I have this very nice stick of 8 gigabytes of RAM, Samsung DDR3L. I got it for $33 US. $33 US online. That's about $48 Australian. So it was a good deal. And you've got to understand, I waited also because it used to be very expensive. So I just waited until the price became very affordable. Got myself a fresh stick of RAM. All right, so back in action. Also, believe it or not, it is a common problem. Sometimes you may have a spare, a spare RAM bank. So this is a bit silly. Oh, and you know what? There's the RAM right there, what I was talking about. There it is right there. Sometimes if you have a spare bank or it's not fitting properly, it's because there's a little bit of grit. Sometimes there's a bit of greediness from the factory and you might have to jiggle it around. Just jiggle it. All right. So to give you an example like that, you just wobble it around until it fits. And let's let's see if this one fits. Yep, it's actually a bit stiff. What's going on? Yep, this, that was a perfect example. It wouldn't go in. It was a little bit stiff because it's brand new from the factory. Let's try again. See? Just jiggle it around. Yep, beautiful. Because, uh, you know, a little bit of greeniness. Uh, cool, that's it. That's your RAM upgrade. Now, obviously, I've shut down the computer, turned out, took out the battery. So, we're going to put it back together and just make sure it's all uh, the computer is actually recognizing it. So, yep, yeah, just make sure I'm happy with that. Yep, yeah, it's all fitting in properly. Yep, cool. 
All right, guys, so just adjusted the camera. What you can do is you can go down to the Windows Start menu, which is down here. And we're just going to type in system and it will find it for us. So SYS, see system information. And we just want to confirm that it's recognizing the RAM. Yep, oh boy, ooh baby. Yep, it says physical, oh, total physical memory. Yep, 12 gigabytes, so excellent. So the upgrade worked. And what I'll do, I'll throw in a screenshot to make it a little easier. Right, so I'm gonna do some value add. I'm gonna teach you guys a little trick too. Because I'm using a Samsung SSD, I'm gonna open up Samsung Magician. This is a program that helps manage the SSD, as you can see. And I've shared some of this before. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to rapid mode here. Again, I can throw in a screenshot just to make it a bit easier. So this rapid mode, we're gonna hit that. And what it does is, yep, okay. It's gonna turn some of that RAM into cache memory and some of the SSD hard drive into RAM because the SSD is actually a huge piece of RAM, flash memory. So it's very, very clever, so it'll make it super fast. Now the catch is you need, you need extra RAM. So before when I had eight gig of RAM, it was fine. I was using the rapid feature very fast. And then, uh, okay, let's restart. Yes, I was using that to boost my computer. Now the reason why it's, it's so important, it helps with data transfer, read and write speed. And that read and write speed is important for me because I do so much video editing, photo editing. Sometimes I have 30 gigabytes of files on a camera, 60 gigabytes of files. I kid you not, so a lot of people don't appreciate how much it does for your productivity. So I used to wait hours and hours just to transfer files from a hard drive, and now just literally within seconds or minutes. <laughs> yeah, businessman. <laughs> Alrighty. So we've done the RAM upgrade. It seems to be successful. I'll continue testing that. So let's go to performance benchmark. Now look at my previous performance benchmark. I'll roll in a picture. 3,400 megabytes read speed, 4,000 megabytes write speed. Outstanding, excellent. But because we put in more RAM, let's just see how this goes. Now I can fast forward as well, just so we don't have to sit here all day. Okay, so the test just finished, and it's now 2954. So, okay, that's interesting. I might run a couple more tests, but yeah, I can roll in a screenshot just to show you guys. I'll run a couple more and, and make it a bit easier and then 4,400 megabytes uh, write speed. So yeah, excellent. The point is it's excellent. I mean, when I had a traditional hard drive, it was only 100 megabytes read and write speed. So yeah, I roll in the comparison, but yeah, excellent. So. Yeah, for what it's worth, I like to use that Samsung rapid mode. I think it's well worth it. And yeah, got my RAM upgrade done. All right, thanks for watching, guys.